Morning, Upgrins. How are you? Great. <laughs> He's already starting even. <laughs> Look at the sun. Gorgeous day. He's going right on the road, isn't he? Oh, yeah. What's up, fisher people? I was hoping it was gonna be a little calmer to start this day, but it's not. It's windy Sakakawea, standard fare for North Dakota. But we got the Upgren boys in the boat today. Meet Ethan. Hello, I'm Ethan, 15. 15 years old, and his dad, Mike, Hello. up front there. So I've done a few guiding trips with Mike. Mike, uh, real fishing guides, and uh, he's been kind enough to let me join the party a few times. Got to meet him, he's an awesome guy. Today's the first day I get to meet Ethan, and hopefully, the first day we catch some pigs with Ethan. Oh, yes, sir. Because we plan on drilling hogs. That's the only thing we're targeting today. Ripping the jigging wraps. And the wind's not really in our favor. No. We got a few marks here. We're gonna try this spot, give her a hack and maybe with some luck the wind will die down we can go wherever we want to go and really get into them so stay tuned for more old mike switching to a minnow haven't gotten the take yet marking some fish but yeah you know that's that's fall fishing the bite should get better as the day goes on. Oh, or the yeah. spot I've... just sucks and we can't get anywhere else in the wind. For what? For what? Yeah, what, what were we talking about? Catching fish. Yeah. That's what we do on this channel. We catch fish, I Mike. Love fish. Yeah. Do you like catching we, fish? Walleye. We catch big hogs. Well, Mike likes to catch walleyes. That's good yeah, for a walleye pheasant guide. Hunting for pheasant hunting for walleye? Yeah, yep. Yeah. I've, I've heard of people doing the double. Don't mean to get you excited, this is not going to turn into a hunting channel, I don't hunt. <laughs> hunting slash fishing. That's why everybody calls their channel outdoors, and I was like, no, I'm going to be real clear to the point here. Blumendahl fishing, end of story. I don't hunt. No. Just not my thing. Real Blumendahl fishing. That's where we are today. Yeah. Real Blumendahl fishing. Combination. Yeah. Think that, it's good, no, I like it. When I, first saw, when I first saw your name, you hand me your card a couple years ago, I was like, oh, that's Perfect. Real fishing guys, I love that. Yeah. R E E L, obviously. Yeah. Very subliminal. Yeah. To be a fishing reel, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch to yeah, a jigging wrap. I my wife over that tooth and nail because I thought it was kind of a, I, you know, real. There's two different ways to interpret that. Yep. You gotta interpret fishing reel. That's what yep. they Not like we're the real ones, yeah, everybody else like is fake. The real deal, you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Got some rock bass in Minnesota. Oh, they're fun. It's a rock bass. Jig and wrap, spoon, minnow. Shiver minnow. Shiver minnow. We had some of the scowl at 18 last week. I got a hyper rattle on one of my rods. I might throw the hyper rattle. We're starting to sound desperate now. You got a bite on the rigging rod? Whatever it is, lack is kind of like a bite. Has he got it? You never know what you're going to get when you set the hook on the rigging rod. Yeah, it could be a big caddy, it could be anything, you know. It's got to be there. Oh, yeah. Hooked up, baby. Live! What's it feel like, Ethan? kind of feels... Oh, it's got a couple head shakes. Feels pretty decent. Maybe good wally? Oh, yeah, I feel it would be. Kind of coming up. Oh, it just saw uh... It is a white bass. White bass. Oh, I got one on the board. First fish, there anyway. There we go. First fish of the day, white bass. Oh, yeah. Plenty more. 
Another one on the rigging rod. That seems to be the only thing we can get fish on right now, sluggish as they are. Yep. Take what you got. We're, we're gonna give her the juice. Give her the juice, give he says. Juice. Give her the juice. Give her the juice, baby. I'm gonna take a little drink. Oh, he gave him the juice. Oh, he stuck oh him. yeah. You got him? Kinda oh, feels like. Either way. Go ahead, buddy. Kind of feels a little lighter, but... A little better? Oh, yeah. Got a little nicer head shake to it. Yeah, I like that. B? Oh, it's kind of acting like a... It's kind of acting like a walleye. Uh, whew, no way. Aggressive. Like oh, yeah. A nice walleye. First one of the day. First, Walter. 17 and a half. 17 and a half? Put that in the camera. Beautiful 17 and a half walleye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like that, Mike. Oh yeah. Another beautiful late Skakui walleye. That's the quality we're after, oh, boys. Oh yeah. How big is she? 21 and a half. 21, you bet? We throw in 21. Her in? Say 22. 21. 21. 21. She didn't even. Throwing it in? I was just sure. changing my desk right. and I noticed that there was a weight on it. Yeah. For a second there, I kind of thought, ah, oh, maybe it's just clinging on bottom. Uh huh. It just stayed there. They're just kind of. No, he just let very lethargic. Yeah. Plate, you know? So, by the way, here's what we're rigging we got the chub and. Uh, Absolute destroyed him. That walleye tore it up pretty good. So the other thing that might be going on right now is it's probably getting close to the lake turning over and we got some big wind and some cold nights lately, which usually pushes that over the edge. And I think last night was a little 39 almost. Yeah. Previous night was like 22, 3, yeah, 4. It's pretty cold. Get some frost. So those those walleyes are probably waiting to bite a little bit later during the daytime when it starts to warm up maybe. I think you might be right. And uh Somebody had asked me to do a video explaining turnover, so let's talk about that right now. And basically the reason all this stuff happens is because of the density of water. So water gets denser as it gets colder until it hits 35 degrees, and then it actually gets less dense on the way down to 32, which is why ice floats. That being said, as the water warms up during the summer, you start to get these layers of stratification, thermocline, all those buzzwords you might have heard, and you get a thermocline that sets up and there's warm water above that, low oxygen content. The colder, denser water's got more oxygen, so that's why the fish are deep hanging out in the deep water. So they get a little harder to catch late summer because they're all real deep. Well, eventually, the top layer starts to cool when it gets cold in the fall, and it gets close enough to the temperature of the water underneath, and then you get a big wind event that starts to push it and mix it, and it all just kind of combines. And got Mike's one. got a fish up front. We'll finish this turnover talk in a minute. Jigging around, Mike? Ah, oh, white bass. White bass. You think? Yep, on a wrap. All right. White bass on a jigging around. So anyway, once all that stuff mixes together, they call that turnover. The lake kind of flips on itself. You might see some garbage and stuff floating on the top of the lake that was down on the bottom all year and it gets stirred up. So there's usually some visual evidence of when it's happening. It usually happens like 50 to 55 degrees. We're only at 60, but as cold as it got and as much wind as we had, it might be in the process of starting to turn. There's your white bass. It's a kakawea white bass. Yeah. They get fat here. The they get big. offers more than just walleye. They, they do. get really big. Outstanding bass fishers. Outstanding small, white bass. bass. White bass small. Bass are really fun to catch out on Lake Skakawea. So yeah, once the lake then turns, now you got oxygen content everywhere. So they don't have to search so hard for oxygen. They can be anywhere and that makes turnover fishing a little bit difficult until they settle into that post turnover pattern so if we're right in the middle of turnover you can find fish in two feet of water to 60 feet of water who the heck knows and they get really scattered but eventually way post turnover they start bunching up a lot in the shallower water Ooh. feeding heavily for the winter and post turnover fall fishing is probably my favorite time to fish and then you start to get a lot of those big fish coming up shallow because the smelts and the ciscos and all those cold water bait fish they're chasing don't have to be in 50 feet anymore. 
they can run up in 10, 15, 20 feet. They can push them up on those points, humps, yeah. shorelines. That's when it gets fun. So for the rest of the day, we're going to try to catch some hogs. slightly pre-turnover, maybe turnover walleyes. Some hogs. Hopefully hogs. That 21 was a good start. Oh, yeah, that was great. I'd like to think we can get an over 25 on a chub later today. Oh, I 100% agree. Maybe on a jigging wrap. One of my clients yesterday actually popped a 28 and an eighth incher on a jigging wrap. His personal best. 28 inches. 28. What a pig. <laughs> Are you throwing that back? Okay. Oh, man. Yes, sir. What a start to the day. Yeah. <laughs> So the hogs are starting to play, and we got a lot of a lot of 21 to 22s in the mix as well. So. And another thing about these cold nights is that these fish will be kind of like locked jaw if it's really cold, you know, so they won't maybe bite till later in the day. That's what I've kind of noticed when I fished. Yeah. I just bumped us forward with the jog feature, yep. and as soon as we bumped, that fish took it. Yep, exactly. Get him hooked up good, Ethan. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Good one. Oh, that's a pole bender. Pole bender. Yeah. Another walleye, though. Wally. Putting it together a little bit now. Oh, yeah. Another 17 and a half beautiful at Skakawea walleye. Oh, yeah. Is it slashed? Are those walleye slashes? Well, yeah. Kind of show, show the camera? Sure. Sure. Oh, just got hit on the creek chub and looks like a walleye kind of slashed the creek chub a bit. So we'll put her back down there and see if she'll bite again. Another Pick up on, on the rig the with creek the chub. chub. Yeah. It's we'll a good thing you guys brought rigging stuff today because we wouldn't have any fish otherwise. Hopefully we can give her the juice. Put the screws to them. This is a good fish. Bigger chub? It's not really moving very much, so. Oh, yeah. It sure looks bigger than what we've had so far. Yeah, it's got a nice bend to that rod. It's hunkering down right now. Come on. <laughs> oh. well, about a 20, 21 maybe. Nice fish. Nice fish. He is angry. Angry? That's maybe 22. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful, dude. I say 22. 21 and a half. Oh, okay. Sweet. 20? 21 and a half. 21 and a half. Another 21 and a half on the board. Sweet. Crushing it, buddy. Oh, yeah. We don't have a lot of places to fish today, but we're making the most oh, of what yeah. we we're got. Gonna, we're going to grind this out. Settle in. Grab some popcorn, Ethan. Oh, yeah. We're in it for the long haul. Oh, yeah. And pretty soon the jigging wraps are going to pick up. Oh, yeah. I feel it. Is that the chub or the double minnow? This is the middle. minnow. We're on the jigging a little bit. Feels like a... It's a walleye. It's a walleye. Right, boy. Nice oh, yeah. Another one on the board. Another beautiful 17 and a quarter inch walleye. Here. Kicker. You gonna net him? Ah, uh, sure. Nice. Action. Creek Chub just hit the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> not even a, the it not even seconds. a second. Two seconds. I mean, it was just, and that was like a nine inch Creek Chub there. Folks, have you ever questioned the size of bait you're using? Don't. <laughs> These yeah. fish can this inhale. Those fish can inhale big creek chubs. Okay, I'll them. measure it. 18. 18 inch walleye. Beautiful. Alright, well we got a fish on the creek chub. Brett's gonna give her the juice, hopefully. Hopefully. Then when you're ready, you can just kind of reel down and see if there's any weight on it. Hopefully that drag, that's good. Oh well, yeah. I think I dropped it. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. 
Yeah. Creek chub fishing, yes, boys. This is weird having the re my bay casters. I usually got the reel on the other side. <laughs> I'll adjust. Ooh, he's dog digging. I'll adjust. How does it feel, Brett? It feels solid. Solid. It might be another 20. Oh, 18. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 18er. Fat there, fast Fat 18er. Fatties. On the chub. I had to get in on the action. Oh, yeah. Can't leave Brett out. He's a cutter. So one thing about this rigging, you need plenty of hooks. Perfect, and go. then you just tighten that little star. Yeah. Star thing, and give her the juice. And Brett's got another one on the creek chub. Biggest chub in the bucket. Yeah, I feel privileged it. to have it. It's probably like a 10 inch chub at least. I'm gonna give it a little extra time, eh? What a, what a eat it more. Not gonna waste the big chub. Yeah. I'm getting antsy now. Oh yeah. The anticipation's killing me, guys. He keeps moving with it, unless that's just the wind blowing the line that's down good. there. It's good if he's moving with it. Oh, good hit. Is that a nice one, Brock? I think it could be. He's going out to sea, guys. Oh, there's some wider head shakes there. This could be fun. Yeah, this has got some weight, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, he is mad. It's a walleye, it's a tank. Oh, yeah. Oh, let it. No, he's just dogging straight down. What is it out on the click counter? Uh, 984, I think I it's offset. Yeah, I think that's offset. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're fishing at it in seven feet. No. It sure acts like a big walleye, guys. Sweet, that's what we want to hear. It sure acts like it. Yeah, this is so weird with this hand. We're going to get her done. We're going to get her done. That's, uh, I don't know if that was... I don't know. Good Wally. Yeah, yeah there, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Woo! Right below now on the big dog. Yeah. Now that is a absolute that beast. Is a tank. That's what we came for right there. Not super long, but girthy is all heck. What do you want to measure? Sure. 24 and a half. On the chub. I like it. Beautiful. Nose dive and gonzo. Sweet. Woo. That's fall fishing. So I'm gonna do a little creek chub. Uh, these things are slippery. <laughs> Very slippery. All right, creek chub demonstration. So we got uh, two hooks that kind of look like this. They're a two hook, and we're gonna hook the creek chub at the top hook by its lip. So we're just gonna go like this and go like that, and we're gonna leave the we're gonna leave the tail hook unhooked from its tail and we're just gonna let that drag. So, kinda like that. So, we're gonna put her back down there and see if she'll catch us another big boy. We'll find out. I bet this one's an eye. Yeah. Another walleye. Right in the snooter, another 17, 18. Minnows, working too. Finally, the jig and wrap popped off. It's about time. Feels like a decent one, too. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get on this side. Get on that side? Doubled up. Double? Mike's got one up front on the jig and minnow. 
Yeah. How does it feel, Brett? 21. 21? 22. 22, all right. I think I was right on the money here, 21. Good one? I can't get a whole lot of pull inside. He's not hooked very good, so. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sure having fun with them. <laughs> I'm having a blast, y'all. Sweet. Good company. Creek chub rod? Oh, no kidding. Creek chub rod. Yeah, it's loose. Creek chub rod might be going down. Chub is not looking very happy. The dinner bell's been rung, fellas. Yep, it has. Officially. Sweet. Yeah, 11 noon. It's 12.02. We're going to see if that creature rod is going to go off here. Brett's got another one on the creek chub. He must have dropped her. Yeah, he was running this way. Really? Brett got robbed. Under the boat. I think it does. I think he probably spooked half the fish. And everyone, the, the aggressive ones bite it, the other ones get scared by it, but. Probably one, uh, probably I think it's the easiest way to push fish out of your spot. Absolutely. If they're not really on. Like, think about what just happened to us in the last 30 minutes. Yeah. You're I, pitching a digging raft and you're fishing the top of those 30 yards, 20 yards behind the boat. Yeah. But all the walleyes we're catching here are right under the boat. Uh huh. Like, earlier we were jig raft and not getting anything and mixing up jigs and minnows. Then we kind of went away from under the boat digging raft. And yeah. To just pitch it a jigging wrap like yep. you're doing now. Yep. I'm not wondering if there's a, you know, I've talked to some guys that have live school. Yeah. And they pitch a jigging wrap out and they scatter. Yeah. Maybe that's the one they pitch it and it hits the ground. Maybe uh, the fish. Here's how I feel. I feel like what you're doing right now, Brett, pitching a jigging wrap, you got fish that are following that. Yeah. You're bringing them through the boat with live bait. And, yeah. Hey, so days, it's attracting more fish. Other days, yeah, other days you can just run from jig, jigging wrap. Yeah. And I, I like to cast them just to cover water, but I think that's part of it too. When you can't get them vertically, I think you're spooking them if you're casting them, yep. moving through different fish. I think you're right, Mike. But it can, no, it can tear them up and bust them up a little bit. I think if you had dropped down a chicken wrap right now, we might spook what we have underneath us. Yeah. As opposed to pitching it and bringing it to the boat. I agree. Not huge. Mike's on. New spot, first fish. Good walleye. Good eye. That was one of them lame, lame bites. Lazy bites? Just, I thought the, the roller weight was going yeah. like over a rock. Another nice 17 inch walleye. Beautiful. Let's get some more. Brad just had a hit on the creek chub. Yeah, he's Looks gone. Looks like he dropped it. Again. Mm. We just dropped this creek chub back down and one minute later got hit again. It's not that big of a chub. I think I'm just gonna go. Dropped it again. He dropped it again. Maybe fourth time's the charm now? <laughs> Maybe. We can't miss them four times, can we? I wouldn't think so, but you know, crazier things have happened. Please be on here. There he is. Got him. That one. That, that. Oh! oh! What? That was big. <laughs> that was big. <laughs> Whatever she was, was big. Are your hooks gone? No, they're there. Huh. God dang it. Strange walleye. Creek chubbing a jig. Bass. White bass. You get another Mike bass with on another your creek chub jig. Creek chub jig. There you go. Another nice. 
15 inch walleye. Broke it up big, dude. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's get another one. Change your tune. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Cow. Yeah. Here's what that thing does. Mutilated chub on a jig. Come on. Big eye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kitty fish now. Kitty cat. Catfish. <laughs> Not the kind of fish we want, but cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. He's down. It's a walleye. Nice 18 incher. So. Eh. Throw it in the box. Cool. White bass. Surprise, White surprise. White bass, huh? Nice camera angle. Look at that. Ethan knows how to work the camera now, too. Yeah. When you get them down the throat like that. <laughs> that means that. You can actually get it hooked. Maybe save the chub. What do you got? White bass? Yeah. <laughs> we are on the white bass. We're pitching creek chubs. Pitching creek chubs for white bass. There's a video. How far down he's got it. <laughs> he's calling it before it even in here. Dude, tank. Look at that. I haven't been on a white bass bite like this since Devil's Lake. Right? Beautiful. Yeah. Mike's got another bass. Doing circles. Looking bassy. It's time for a double or a triple. Wait a minute. Well, that's a Wait nice... A... Oh, that's white bass. Nice oh. white bass. <laughs> Mike, you better show the camera. Oh, he didn't show the camera. Well, it's been a heck of a fun day of fishing. Oh, yeah, it was a blast. I want to thank Ethan and uh, Mike for coming out today. Yeah, thank you for having us. Betcha. Happy birthday, Ethan. Yeah. Happy birthday, Ethan's 15th? Yep, 15th. 15, yeah. 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 So. On YouTube for his birthday. Yeah. So if you like the video, hit the button to say so. Think about subscribing to the channel. If you're super generous, maybe support the channel on Patreon so we can keep doing cool stuff like this. And we'll see you next time, fisher people. These things are slippery. <laughs> Very slippery.